Today we're going to go back in my childhood to when I was nine years old to the scripture Luke 11 1. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. For my Bible journaling today, I'm going to be using the sweet image from A Day for Daisies that I printed out. But the technique I'm going to show you, you can do whether it is a printed image or a stamped image. It really doesn't matter. And you're going to be needing a pencil. And you're going to be needing either a small embossing tool like that or an ink pen that no longer writes. Once your image is ready, you're going to turn it over and you are going to put pencil all over the back of it. Like I said, I'm going back to when I was nine years old, and this is actually a technique that we used in school in our arts and crafts class, and it's a great way to get an image onto another paper. It's kind of like using carbon paper, only, you know, it's pencil on the back instead. I hope you don't mind that I've sped this up. What I'm doing here is putting a plastic sheet behind the page to give me a firm surface to work on. And next I'm going to line up the image right where I want it before I start tracing over it. I'm going to use the empty ink pen and I'm going to firmly go over all of the lines of this image. And what it's going to do is put a very light image on the page and you'll be able to see that here in a little bit. Again, because this is time consuming, I'm speeding things up. Here you can see that the image is very faint, but you can still see it, and I'm going to be going over that with a pencil just to darken it. I just went over the girl with pencil to darken up that image and then what I'm showing you there is that I used glitter gel pen to go over the other lines so that they have a nice sparkle to them but I did not go over them again with pencil. So now I'm going to put that plastic sheet back under the page because I'm going to be using my colored pencils and I want a firm surface to color on. While I'm coloring, I'm going to speed things up, and we are going to talk about Luke 11.1. 1. In the verses following Luke 11.1, 1, Jesus answers his disciples' question. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I'm sure you recognize that as the King James Version of the Lord's Prayer. Those are great guidelines, because we are praying to our Heavenly Father. And we should be asking that His will be done, because His will is more perfect than anything we could ever imagine and we should ask for him to provide for us because he does want us to ask for his help and for our needs and we need to ask for forgiveness because we all need to be forgiven but we also need to remember to thank him we need to thank him for all of his many wonderful blessings for all that he's done for us for his for his forgiveness and for his protection and his healing and just so many wonderful things that we need to thank him for. But there's another thing I want to talk about. Some people have their different views on when to pray. And sometimes it's when you go to bed at night, get down on your knees or to go into a private room somewhere and pray. But I believe our Heavenly Father listens to us all the time. It doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing. We can pray to Him. And I know if we're sitting in a car 
and there's a car accident ahead of us. We're going to be praying right then and there. We're not going to wait until we get home and get on our knees that night. So I just want you all to remember that our Heavenly Father listens to us all the time. You can talk to him any time that you need to because he is there for you. Well, there is the finished image, and I am not an amazing colorer, and I'm also not into calligraphy. Well, I am, but I just don't know how. But these Zig calligraphy pens make your writing look beautiful, even if you don't know how to do calligraphy. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that elementary school tracing trick works for you in your Bible journaling. And thank you for letting me share my favorite childhood verse with you. I hope you come back again next month for more Bible journaling for the creative soul. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.